guys it's your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com today we have something special there's a new segment that i'm planning on doing for this channel and it's gonna be called this week on github <laughs> So what I'm going to try to do is find cool projects and cool repositories that maybe you guys should check out, right? Weekly, every Saturday morning, I'm going to try to release this, you know, so it's going to be one video per week. And what we're going to do is just basically go over some projects that I found that I think are interesting. Okay. So this is one of them. This is created by Google. It's called Filament. Okay, so Filament is a physical based rendering engine for Android, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Okay, the reason why I think this is pretty interesting is because the fact that you can render this type of images, you know, these are 3D models that you can do, and it's a pretty small engine, right? So you can do it for Windows, even for Android. So this is kind of changing the game. I mean, now we are in the future, right? Especially with online games and when it comes to like 3D rendering for, you know, games straight through the browser. Okay. Now, this is pretty cool. I like what, what I'm seeing here. You know, look at this. Like this image is beautiful, man. This actually might even look better than a lot of things that I see from Unity or even Unreal Engine or a lot of the other um stuff like out there like go dot like i don't even think go is rendering images like this you know like it's pretty look <laughs> like crazy the reflection on it like it actually looks like a real uh freaking marble or you know tiles like it looks pretty dope i like it okay so i think this is a pretty cool project for you guys to check out um it doesn't have that many issues currently only has six issues so that means it's is actually pretty solid so check it out if you're into this all right next thing that we have here is task book so task book is pretty much like a to-do app guys but through the command line okay there's a lot of guys out there that love doing everything through the command line so you know if you like vim you like all of that stuff hey man this might be something that you might be into okay it's, it's like a to-do app and hey cross out the task or give it a little check i mean there's a million of applications like this but this is cool for the people that want to do everything through the command line so you know more power to the creators i like it i think it's, it's very useful okay now this might be one of my favorite ones from today this is called docs.site okay so with this this is like a basically it's like a framework it's like a uh, a library that just helps you create um you know documentation okay so it uses mdx which is based on markdown plus jsx so if you're used to uh react like this is gonna feel like home everything is customizable you could have typescript uh fully pluggable so you could have plugins later on i don't know if there's that many plugins right now but what's cool about this is like hey you come here show you from the beginning create your project you you install it right of course npm install or yarn add okay you add this definitely you create your project you create your jsx your mdx okay from there on you import the playground import the button then you from there as you see this is markdown add playground so you can see it shows it here it shows the button itself shows like hey props table a button okay and it actually shows you the props for each one you can actually bring back the button again create like a secondary one as you can see it shows up right there i think this is pretty useful for companies that um they have a, a lot of components so and especially if they have certain style guides this is pretty cool you could keep it there and just start creating your own documentations. Supposedly it says it also has some themes. So currently this is the default, but I'm pretty sure with time, more people is going to start creating more of them. Okay. It has like a pretty easy setup. I mean, give it a try, go check it out. See if you like it. This is going to be cool for those of you guys that want to 
right documentation and i think that will be kind of impressive if you show somebody hey like i created let's say a plugin or i created a component i created something right and then you want to show to the people like hey i could also write you know documentation for it and i think it could be impressive right it could be something that you could impress somebody uh and say hey man check out the documentation right not bad right so definitely check it out personally for today this is my favorite one favorite repo that we have so far so another thing that we have here is another uh, library so apex charts.js okay if you're looking to create dashboards or uh, create a uh, visualization for some type of data that you, you might have you know definitely check it out I think it's pretty cool seems pretty easy to set up just import apex charts from apex charts then from there put in your options uh, create a new apex chart okay and chart dot render mm, not bad okay and it seems pretty easy uh, to be honest I'm gonna give this a try to see if it's better than other libraries that I've used just to check it out and see if it's actually good okay now we have another language coming out guys <laughs> another language <laughs> now this new language I don't know if if people are gonna pick it up to be honest with you um, so it says it has stores global containers or applications stores can be connected to components referring their functions and properties anytime they didn't store is updated the connected components are re-rendered so hmm, seems similar to like you know like redux or like what react has done um i mean definitely i don't know it says that it compiles to to javascript so i'm guessing this is in the same world of uh things like uh elm so let's see right let's see if this thing picks up or not it could be something that it's like super niche it could be something that some people use so it's like some guy in in his basement somewhere <laughs> you know uses this language but i think it's cool to to check out what other people are using you know what i mean or what's being created out there because all of this takes a lot of work right so we have to highlight that and and show it to people so let's see let's click on on learn so let's see how easy is this to to get started so you got okay there's literals whatever function so it's like module greeter fun greet okay name string html div hello um it seems cool the syntax i'm a little iffy on it uh i don't think it's my my type of syntax <laughs> some people maybe some people will like it but personally i don't know Okay, if else seems simple, just like other languages. Uh, components, properties, property size, string, small, property color, string, red. Okay, so this seems cool. I like that idea. All right, you declare a property, and then from there you, you're able to use it here within the HTML. That's not bad. I like that. I like that idea. Um, styling. You can say style base, da -da -da, div base. So I'm guessing you're saying, hey, this div, the style for it is going to be the style base. I mean, I, I definitely need to play around with it more to check it out, see how it is. But it seems pretty cool. Let me see. Mint routes of application are defined the top level routes. Da -da -da. So it does have some routing, which is kind of weird because is this like a language or is this like a framework i definitely gonna dig deeper into this this language mint but it's just it seems cool the syntax might be a little bit off at first you know from looking at at it from like from this point of view of like my first time looking at it then i don't know like component counter and da 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 and like I don't know if this is just HTML or or how exactly is it that it works. I have to dig deeper, right? But that's why I'm showing it to you guys because I'm I'm actually interested in it. So 
let's see if some of you guys are actually interested leave a comment below let me know what you guys think uh do you think that this seems cool um i know some people is gonna be like man another language another framework another this this and that guys sometimes to move the you know the community forward we have to learn new things and and that's how things get better all right so stop bitching okay <laughs> have fun man the best part about um being a developer is literally just the fact that you could come here and pretty much just keep on learning new things every year right sometimes it could be repetitive but sometimes you might find something interesting like this okay guys so leave a comment below let me know which ones of these do you find that is interesting do you like this idea of every week i find a couple of repos five six repos and show it to you guys see what you guys think let me know it's your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com your boy is back and i done did it again guys if you're looking to learn how to code go check out my website codingphase.com all right literally if you click on the description below you can click there and get 50 percent off automatically of every single course on my website now you can also sign up for a membership which would be like ten dollars a month or something or a hundred dollars per year or three hundred dollars lifetime so you never have to pay for anything else ever again and get access to all of my courses okay go check it out we have over 30 courses there man that are basically one of the best courses out here you know this is pretty much like the best bundle you're not gonna get something like this anywhere else okay so go check it out guys original price 905 if you was to buy every single course by itself but if you sign up for the membership, you get it, you know, way cheaper. OK. And at the same time, like I said, if you click on the description below or on the comment section, you're going to get 50 percent off. So this 20 becomes 10. This 200 becomes 100. This 600 becomes 300. So I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe. Peace.